we've got two switch assembly modules here that need to be replaced. We've got the light switch assembly module, headlights, dome light, um, dash lights, and every once in a while the dash lights here kind of go wonky, and uh, I have to play with this to get them to be normal again. And then here on the four-wheel drive button, this button right here sticks, and as a result sometimes I have a hard time getting it out of four-wheel drive, or if I need to switch from four high to four low, I'll get an error code from the uh, computer on the truck. So, because this button sticks, and that's one of the likely causes of that symptom, we're going to replace that also. I have been told on this assembly, a lot of the problems with it you can eliminate by removing it, taking it apart, and resoldering the connector, uh, the cable connector, on the circuit board. But I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Right here we have two new switch assemblies. And as usual, I'm another struggling amateur YouTuber trying to... And we don't have the switch assembly. We have a fog light. Okay, here's the other switch assembly. I do have the switch assembly. The other switch assembly is on my desk, and I'll go get it here in a minute, but here's the new headlight assembly module. Basically, you pry the dash off. That's this part right here. You literally pry it off, from what I can understand. And then you very carefully release these catches on the side to get the light module out. Unplug the old one, plug in the new one, and put it all back together. Basically, take put it back together the opposite of the way you took it apart. Now give me a moment while I go find that other switch assembly. All right, we're back, and here's that other switch module. And it occurs to me I said YouTuber earlier, and I really should have said videographer, because I put far more effort into the videos I upload on Rumble than I put into any effort I make on YouTube. Anyway, it's the same basic thing. Uh, it looks like... It may latch into the sub-dash, back-dash, uh, a little differently than the other one. So I may go look up how somebody else did it here in a minute. But here we go. Oh, by the way, I mentioned that, it's po that it, it may be possible to take this module apart and just resolder the connectors on the cable that comes from this plug to the circuit board. Uh, you can do that, and I will tell you, if I was broke, I would probably try it. And the switch wasn't working well enough as is. But neither of these switch modules were particularly expensive. I don't remember exactly what they cost, but it's not like I'm going to miss out on lunch money for a week or anything like that. As I'm sure you're already painfully aware, I'm not a professional videographer. I'm also not a professional mechanic, so if this goes horribly awry and you hear me scream, you'll know why. All right. What I've been told to do is tilt the steering wheel all the way down, shift it into manual, Get all that stuff. Gives you more room to work, basically. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Oh, that's annoying. Well, you know what? We'll do that at the last minute if we need to. And then you just take plastic pry bars of some type, and you get in here and you pop this off. I have no idea which ones are going to be best. I got these plastic pry bars from Harbor Freight, and they were not expensive. Well, that popped out. From what I've been told, this dash pan is just held in with spring clips, kind of like your wheel well protectors and other things like that. All right. Now let's shift that, move that shifter out of the way. Seems to be coming apart the way they told me. Alright. 
Ah, yep, little metal spring clips. I hope they all go back in as easy as they came out. That's pretty amazing that, I, that, some, that a mechanism that uh, light or that simple has lasted as long as it has. This truck's got, uh, hold on a second, 165,000 miles on it, and that simple mechanism hasn't failed. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing there. Let's take a look at this. It looks like those snap into something, like something snaps into there and into there on each side. So it should be pretty easy to take out. Let's turn that off. And oh, this one looks like it's got a latch on top. Yeah, that one looks simpler. There's a little catch there and a little catch there. So this latch here on top should release to allow it to tilt out. Oh, yeah, we don't want that to come out. Ah, all right. Let's take a look here. Okay, there's a standard little clip right there. <laughs> it's a good thing we're replacing that switch. Let's hope this one doesn't break because the clip is on the plug side on this one. There we go. like that. That one's plugged in. That is plugged in. After I turn it upside right. Wow. It looks pretty straightforward. Turn the ignition on again. Okay, it says we're in two-wheel drive. Switch to four high, and I could hear the solenoid down in the transmission or shift linkage, I'm not sure which. Switch to four low. Switch to four high. Switch back to two-wheel drive. Well, that one appears to be easy. I'll have to wait until the next time I have to climb a hill in the dirt to know if that really worked. And guess what? This I don't think this has anything to do with it. I think this one clips in the same way as this one with little notches on the bottom and on the top that clip into a plastic clip. This may be... got to get it in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, if you do it right, it's easy, huh? All right. Ah. There we go. Headlights are turned on. Turn it back to auto, which is where I normally leave it. And we place that back in there. And it looks like that went in as easy it came as it came out. Now. Let's 
see if we can get this to go back in that easy. accidentally hit the four ways. All right, let's pop that back out. Start over here. Ah, there we go. That has got to be one of the easiest repairs I have ever done. Headlights are on, running lights are on, it's in auto position. It's a little sticky to the off position. Okay. That feels solid, just like I never took it off. Wow. Okay. That's it, folks. Relatively inexpensive replacement parts. One plastic pry bar. You could probably do it with a metal pry bar, but the plastic one's less likely to scratch up your dash.